Alright. Oh Jesus. Okay, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Get your well fit okay. on. Alright. Let's do this. Oh my god. I hate the knockback. Nope, I'm I'm slain. I'll wormhole as soon as I can. Oh, this is bad news. Okay. Gee. He was faster and fat. Oh no. Okay. What do I need? What do I need? What do I need? Wormhole potions. God. Don't forget the nurse and to heal up. I'll keep it moving. Yeah. Yeah, give me a second here. I don't have many more seconds. Eh. Okay, I'm here. Okay, phase two, watch out for the st the head. Yeah. Where's he at? Right hand side, I'm using B-nades. I can't hit him. I'm dead, be careful. Okay, just watch out. Yeah. I real. Uh. Okay, I'll come back when I can. You just just focus on dodging even. We want one person alive at least all the time. Yeah. We might be able to do this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just dodge, just dodge. I'm trying. Oh shit, he's fast. Are you almost there? Oh my god, he's still after me? I don't even have the hive pack equipped, it doesn't matter. I do! Go in the bees! You almost got this. Run. Oh! That got caught! How? <sighs> It's rough! That's what it is! 
Okay. Hmm. Well, we can make iron skin potions. We probably already have iron skin potions and stuff. We're just gonna have to gear up better. My uh, gear's good. I mean, but gear up with team. potions. Oh yeah, obviously. <laughs> like potion up. And we could move the nurse closer and. Yeah. Optimize. Okay. Uh... I only have two iron potions. That could be one for each of us. Okay, what do I need for items? Uh, the worm scarf is probably helping a lot. Yep. The frost bark boots for sure. I've got the horseshoe on. I could switch Jeez. that for the pack. Except I tend to die from fall damage for no reason. <laughs> now I'll switch to the pack. Hopefully that will help more. Shark tooth necklace. Shield of Cthulhu. Yeah, okay. Besides, the fight is done at 4.30 a.m. He'll auto-kill anyone still fighting him yeah. by then. Yep. Oh, grab a Swiftness Potion, too. Right. Basically anything useful, but those for sure. Nah, yeah, well, why not? I'll refuel on... There's the merchant. I'll refuel on arrows. Use the archery potion, then. I suppose you're right. I should be using it. I threw one there. Archery potion down there. I don't know if it works with the B arrows, but I can try. It should. Alright, we should go make a house, too. Yes, yeah. I could bring a yeah. bed, too, so that you respawn right next to us. Yep. And then we get the nurse to move in, just in case. Basically anything. Uh, anything and everything at this point. Yep. Because I think this is the next big step, huh? Yep. Unlock the dungeon. <laughs> you died really fast when you came back, though. I was hoping you'd... Mm, I don't know. Be okay. <laughs> What was that? It seemed like you died really fast when you when you uh, respawned. Yeah, I I can't seem to get the hang of dodging his skulls. You know, like they just randomly speed up and curve. I think as long as you run along the top platform, you should be able to jump them. I think. I hope. I was doing okay, and then I got caught by the uh, the head, 
I mean, if you're not ahead of the head when he starts the spin attack, not even trying to dash with the shield of Cthulhu will get you out of that. I think we, I uh. just I just need to have a swiftness potion then. Oh, yeah. God. Um, one thing you could do would be the uh, slime out, and then just jump away. Huh? I do have the bunny one instead. Just. Mm. That that is an idea. Because the slime can do damage, not pro guaranteed. Like, oh. you have to like properly jump on them. Are you sure? I think I remember somebody killing the dungeon guardian with the slime mount by like trapping himself in a corner and then it would only uh -huh. I don't remember I don't know how they did that though I mean hopefully we won't have to resort to such things for just Skeletron yeah we were pretty close this time oh yeah closer than well, I expected us to be if you want to cheese it we could use the slime mount and just hop on his head I don't know if... They, well, I mean, we'd have to kill the arms first anyway. Yeah. That could be a backup plan, if possible. But then, I mean, I you've got one and I don't, and then you'd be fighting him alone. Oh. Sort of. I mean... Right. You can launch, like, B, your B gun towards the sky. Mm, I guess. And I don't know how damage frames work. I hope that wouldn't turn off the, the infinite... A jumping thing. Oh, that's right. I don't know. We'll, uh... Let's see here. Well, I have a lucky horseshoe just in case something wrong happens. Uh, where do we want to make this house, anyway? Probably... <sighs> right here, I guess. Somewhere where the, the arms aren't going to auto-kill her. I have the wood for it. This is a good location, though? What do you think? Yeah, like in a corner here. Just flatten out the area and I'll make it. I have wood! That's all we need. I need this compact way. Oh. Yeah. oh, we can just like jump out kind of thing. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. Done. There we go. I'll move the nurse in. Oh, and then we gotta set our spawn there. Right. As long as we run away, she should appear. In nighttime. Mm, no, as long as you're far enough away. Check it out on the map. I'll guarantee you it's in nighttime. Pretty sure as long as we're far enough away, she'll just kind of go back there on her own eventually. Yeah, but... during nighttime. <laughs> Trust me on this. Oh, okay. She's just wandering around. 
Um, it's because during nighttime they really want to go at their house, and if there's, it's, if it's possible for them, they will. I teleport if no one's on screen. It's a large meteor. Yeah. All right. Mm, so strange plant. I just crit for 58 using the shield. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with a clown a bottle instead of the shield. Okay, I'll be right back. Might as well grab some food while waiting. <laughs> 